so it's so crazy. Like I just randomly got my ears pierced and a tattoo. My angel number. And honestly, I just align a lot with this number because like it's a reminder to like always you're on the right path and like trust who you are and follow yourself and your intuition and what feels right right for you and like naturally and everything but yeah so entering your like growing i went to starbucks well okay actually let me tell you so i went to the gym and then i wanted nautical bowls so i walked to the nautical bowls i was right there fucking close bitches and then i was like okay like now i want crisp and green so then i walked all the way not walked i drove to crisp and green and um they were closed because it was like flooded or something whatever so I was like you know what? i'll just go to starbucks so then i got like this turkey provolone pesto sandwich a chocolate chip cookie and a strawberry acai wait I'm, tr I'm trying to see how fast i can order my drink um can i get a venti strawberry acai like ice no berries um with lemonade it's real good but anyways so back to what i was saying entering like your kind of independence self-healing glowing era mainly your self-healing era because like i feel like as individuals society and like honestly how you were raised has a lot to do with it but you grow up to believe that or not even necessarily believe but you grow up and you're surrounded by all of these like people and like how you were raised and things that you were taught has such a negative effect not all the time for all people but like for in some senses like for example like to toxic masculinity and like not being able to cry like that that is a really big one or just like little things like that you are raised to believe and a big one is also money but we'll get into that in a different sense but um i'm kind of on like trying to unlearn everything and um, relearn because like I just have a lot of negative connotations and beliefs towards like certain things and I just really need to like unlearn that like for example like that toxic masculinity one like not being able to cry or um, not being able to do certain things, pierce your ears, or, like, just do, like, all of these things because, like, other people around you tell you, like, that's not okay, like, you can't do that, you can't do this, and honestly, like, for so long, I, I lived a life where I felt like I needed to do this and do this to please other people and, like, seeking out validation, but it makes you really unhappy because, like, at the end of the day, like, I know it's so cliche and cheesy, but at the end of the day, like, you only need yourself no, okay, let me rephrase that. You only need your your validation and your um and your um what is the word I'm looking for? Like really just necessarily your own validation because like if you wanna do something and you really wanna do it, who says you can't do it? You know what I mean? Because like you're afraid that it's gonna be embarrassing or you're afraid that you're not allowed to do it or you're afraid that you're gonna upset certain people like honestly you get you get this life so why aren't you living it to the best of your ability you know what i mean you want to be a youtuber post a video you want to be a model like reach out to agency agencies you want to be a lawyer like re you know what i mean research that you want to be an actor like start taking classes like obviously it depends on your external and internal factors like you can't necessarily control all of your external factors like how much money you have well i guess you can control that a lot when you're older but like when you're younger like you can't really control that kind of stuff but <clears throat> a big thing is like oh my gosh and enough so this is just like my thoughts really this is all my thoughts but another really big one is um is um i'm trying to think what was i just gonna say oh yeah another really big fuck i keep forgetting um i'm trying to think um fuck oh another really big one is like nope still don't got it <laughs> no. but just like oh 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 
I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. So another really big one is like, <clears throat> why do you allow family to treat you, not family, but like, no, family. So like, if you won't let friends treat you a certain way, why would you let family? You know what I mean? And I'm a big believer on like, love makes you related, but like, loyalty creates like a family. You know what I mean? Because like, you can have people, like, it doesn't matter if you're family, it doesn't matter if you're friends, it doesn't matter if you're anyone, like, if you don't treat me with the respect I deserve, then you aren't adding any positive energy to my life, then why are you still here? You know what I mean? Like, what you're not doing anything for me in a positive way, and doing anything doesn't necessarily mean, like, buying me stuff, getting me stuff, like, we can be best friends, or we can be, like, the best siblings, or we can be the, like, you know, anything, like, in life, like, we can be the best bestest friends ever and you not buy me one thing because like that's not what it's about but like adding so much positive energy towards my life like for example like I found a really good group of friends who like uplift me and like make me very secure like in who I am and like push me to be confident and push me to be the best version of myself and those are the type of people that you need in your life because like if someone's holding you down then that necessarily means they're below you and if they're below you trying to pull you down to them they're not good friends and like and that goes to relationships and anything like don't stop seeking out love stop seeking out you know friends like let them come naturally to you be by being yourself because if you're not like, being exactly who you are and who you're made to be you're gonna attract negative energies because if you're faking to be something that you're not what kind of friends are you gonna attract people who are interested in that fake you know version of yourself so obviously you're not going to feel as fulfilled as you would if you're being who you are and being your true authentic self because that's so important but uh, so that's a really big one but I guess another one is just like I'm sorry I keep looking at the it helps. just like entering yourself here let's let's go back to the OG hero era let's go back to the OG question of like entering your independence and like self-healing so you really have to unlearn things that like are adding positive contribution contribution contrib contribution 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 I don't know but um oh yeah so like just kind of unlearning things that, like, you've learned when you were raised or learned from things that... Because it's so crazy but to believe that a lot of way, a lot of things that, like, how we act now or deal with things now, we learned from our childhood. Shout out to Lynette, kids, I learned that from you. But, um, like, for example, like, when we're little and, like, we go through things or, like, things are happening around us and how we deal with that... And how we learn to deal with that is still how we deal with that today. Like, for example, like, I know, like, a lot, like, when I was younger, like, if, like, something happened or go through something, um, like, I was the youngest and, like, all my siblings are older. So, like, they kind of all had each other and I was more, like, alone and, like, not saying that, like, I was ever alone, you know what I mean? But, like, it felt like I was more alone because they all had each other. So, like, in terms of, like, dealing with problems, I dealt with it, like, all, like, alone and by myself. And that's kind of how, like, I feel like I need to do so now. Like, when something happens or, like, if I'm going through something, I kind of, like, take a st step back from everything. I feel like I have to take and deal with, like, all my problems by myself. Which, obviously, like, my problems are my problems. But it's obviously very healthy to confide in people and, like, find people that you trust and everything. But I don't know. I'm just done living the life or living a life that other people will want me to live. Because at the end of the day, like, that's not going to fulfill me and that's not what's going to make me happy. And, like... If I don't want to, if I don't want to live an unhappy life, why am I living for other people? You know what I mean? Stop living for other people and live for yourself. Because if you want to go out and you want to travel, go like work hard towards that. You know what I mean? Like college is not for everybody. Like, granted, I went for a semester, dropped out, or took a semester off because I'm going back now. Um, actually tomorrow. But um. Or, like, whenever y'all see this, but tomorrow's, like, when school starts. But, um, like, I don't know, like, that 
I wasn't mentally happy there and like that just wasn't for me so like I took a step back and like realized like this isn't for me right now like I'm not mentally there to be doing this so like I did it and now I'm so much more like happier and at peace like with that decision like at first I was really sad because like what did I do what did I do but it was more so just like realizing like I kind of felt like a failure because like as society the American dream is like obviously go to high school graduate go to a four-year education take out all these loans graduate start a family buy a house get in more loans work a nine to five for the rest of your life and it's so set up to where like that's the only life that like or that's the life that you're supposed to live i guess i guess it's kind of more so changing now with like all social media and everything like and changing like the like american dream or something but like that was the American dream for so long and like I'm not even gonna get into that but like if you notice like the one thing that has not changed is the education system in terms of like sit down raise your hand if you have a question raise your hand if you need to use the bathroom like they really like strip your creativity down by like obedience and teaching you like obedience like you have to listen you have to do this you have to do to do this because once they do that it's easier to brainwash you into thinking that you have to live this American dream which that's what we can talk about that in a different video but in terms of living for yourself and not other people like fuck the american dream fuck what the next person's doing around you fuck what your parents want from want you to do fuck all of that because that's not what you want i mean it could be what you want you know what i mean but and if that is like by all means do you but you should every step that you make every decision you make every everything that you should make should be a positive co contribution to the life and building your dream life because like for example like i'm going to school for nursing and for so long like i didn't want to be a nurse i was like fuck that like they work too hard for like not as much like as pay as they should they they go all through all like they do a lot so i was like fuck that fuck the medical field i'm not doing that but then like i realized i was like damn like i want to help people and give back as much as i can by like spreading positivity and influencing people and making people feel like being your true authentic self is the most important thing because you there's so much power to being who you are in yourself because there's only one of you and if there's only one of you how amazing is that to embrace that and walk in your truth and walk in that positive source of energy because i just think it's so cool like when you see people like or when you take one person and then you take another person and compare the two it's like wow so completely different but like at, so like society and social media makes it where like those two different people and another person i'm talking with my hands i hope you can like <laughs> understand that but like one person posted something on social media and now this person that was completely different from them is trying to make themselves more like the, this person that posted if that made sense because like you compare yourself and like you judge yourself for no reason like it's just so it's just so toxic and it's because like and notice how mental health is so much worse in our society than it was before because like we have social media we have all these things that's I blanked. Has that ever happened to you? But we have all these things that's making, you know, like, for women, for example, like, a certain body type. Like, that is not true. Like, you do not have to live or look a certain way. And honestly, men, too. Like, obviously, uh, for women, like, it's a lot put more pushed on to them. But having, like, an ideal body type, you know what I mean? Like, for example, like, a woman doesn't need to have a skinny waist, a big butt, and, like, all these things for them to be beautiful, you know what I mean? Like, you can be beautiful in all different sizes, all different skin colors, all different, you know, hairstyles. Like, it's because beautiful doesn't necessarily mean, like, looking like a specific thing. A beautiful means, like, owning and owning your true self because nothing's more beautiful than that you know what i mean and like men for example like you don't need to walk around with like a six pack or eight pack and huge quads and huge biceps to be like handsome you know what i mean like you can 
be healthy and you can be handsome and you can be all these things and you can be like good looking like in your own skin in your own body that's why when people say accept the skin you're in you know what I mean? because it's so true like stop around wanting to be like everybody else when you can be like yourself and be awesome and i think that it has holds so much power to it because if everybody was think about it, if everybody ooh, excuse me if everybody was the same we would not be as advanced as we are in society because who's creating the tech i'm horrible when it comes to like technology and like coding and all that shit you know what i mean but like someone else like is like amazing at that that's like their passion that's like their go-to and they're creating like new like devices and all of this stuff i can't do that you know what i mean like that's not for me at all but some it's amazing or like anything construction i can't build shit so all these buildings that we have like that's not because of me that's because somebody else is different than me who's good at that kind of stuff and like did that you know what i mean like we're all so different so just be different i hate that so much if we're all made to be different just be different fuck pisses me off but anyways i gotta get home i got shit to do um i gotta keep listening to my podcast i'm watching this one by larray and um or larry and the oh fuck how do you pronounce her last name this the triplets i don't know if you know them but they're my favorite um the sterling no no but um the triplets that so anyways i'm sorry i don't even think i was looking at the camera this whole time like i forgot you have to look at a little dot but okay but anyways keep being awesome keep being who you are remember um enter your self-healing era be independent be who you are stand apart rather than standing with other people okay depending obviously on the circumstance but like remember staying apart be who you are be amazing and you will you can achieve anything you want out of this life build your dream life keeping awesome yeah so have a good day bye you know that oh wait i'm sorry before i go hey